Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to do a quick intro, I just got back from the field, uh, had an amazing time with the tracker, got some cool uh, footage of two monitors side by side, one with a stationary antenna and one with the tracker on it, uh, did some comparison between the two uh, and it, it was heavily in favor of the tracker, um, very pleased with it. You'll see the footage next. Um, basically it starts out after I had had a couple issues just tuning in the tracker, um, which is all part of just learning the equipment uh, and you kind of learn what to, how to use it basically. So um, down the line I'm going to make some videos with it in some longer range airplanes, uh, planes with uh, flight controllers in them. That way I can go until video, until I lose video. Um, and we can get a good distance reading on it that way. Uh, and you know, when the video loses or kicks out, uh, I'll just flip on the return to home, and it'll it'll come back. I didn't want to do that in the apprentice uh, because I don't have a flight controller in there. And if I lose video and I'm far out, the, the plane's gone. But I can throw it in my my twin dream or my Ranger that I'm in the process of building rebuilding now, um, and uh, get some get some true good distance measures. But what you'll see in the video next is that the antenna tracker maintains solid video while the stationary antenna, not so much, it burns, but the, the tracker just, it really impressed me. So uh, enjoy the flight footage and stay tuned for more videos. Okay, I think the battery's died on my run cam too. Uh, so I'm gonna make this real quick and maybe come back and do a recap afterward. Uh, but basically, I am running a comparison video between these two monitors. One has the antenna tracker on it, one has a stationary, uh, omnidirectional, so circularly polarized antenna on it. Uh, and hopefully we'll get to see one break up before the other. Uh, the idea being that the tracker will hold true. I had some issues with the LEDs, and uh, it looks like I'm still kind of having them, but I'm going to go ahead and I'll explain while I'm in the air. Sounds like we have some tracker movement. So what happened before, I'm not really sure why, but uh, my LED, a yellow LED, went from blinking fast to off uh, for an unknown reason. Um, on my first flight. I've been out here two other days trying to get things configured, and... Um, uh, had some issues because the tracker is mounted to the back of my monitor and the monitor as it turns out has a speaker in the back of it and so the magnet in that speaker was throwing off the tracker so it was consistently pointed almost in the opposite direction. I couldn't figure it out for a couple of days, tried calibrating, tried everything, uh, all the LEDs were flashing, everything was showing that it should be tracking and working and um, it wasn't, uh, it was pointing off way off. So, uh, finally figured out that it was the speaker, got home and desoldered and removed the speaker, and uh, it works It works well now. Uh, the tracker is pointed fairly close to the plane. It's, it's a little off. Uh, that could be due, I need to do a, another calibration here at the field, um, but it seems to be tracking more so than it has uh, in the past few days with the tracker being mounted so close to the speaker. So, uh, I'm going to gain some altitude here again and see about moving the camera over to the tracker so you guys can see it moving.
I've seen just out of my uh, peripheral, I'm flying line of sight still. Out of my peripheral, I've seen the video break up on the stationary antenna a couple of times uh, versus the tracker. So I'm going to get out here a little ways, get some distance. And it looks like we're still holding strong on the tracker. Although, like I said, the tracker is pointed off a little bit. The plane is, uh, what's it, about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, and the tracker's at 12 o'clock. So some fine-tuning to do there. Not much, nothing to complain about. Uh, the tracker looks like it's doing its job pretty well. Um, so that's good. Looks like we're in business. I'm going to get some distance out here. I don't want to go too far because I don't have a flight controller in the plane right now. Uh, it is solely the FPV system. So I had some distance there as you can see and the stationary antenna was breaking up pretty good whereas the tracker was solid. Uh, so that's right on par with what we expected. Just make sure guys when you mount this When you mount the tracker, let's see, am I still recording? Yep. When you mount the tracker, I'll show you what I was talking about. Um, have the tracker mounted with Velcro on the back of this monitor, right? Uh, and <laughs> if you notice, the speaker's right here, was right there. Um, and it was causing the tracker to point off by like 45 degrees. It was way off. And I could not get it calibrated and running right. So, got home, took the monitor apart took the speaker out, put it back together, working fine. This is what I was talking about, and then I'll sign off because you guys don't want to see this boring stuff. But um, This is a recommendation I have for Arcbird. Um, because if the tracker is off just a slight amount like I was just then, I was off by about 10 or 15 degrees, you need to land, do a calibration, and kind of guesstimate moving the antenna over a little bit about how far you think off it was take back off, see if that's dialed in now, and if it's not, you got to land, recalibrate, go through the whole process again, um, and it's kind of a pain. Uh, if they had an option on here to calibrate while the plane was in the air, that'd be fantastic. You, you could be flying, holding in a straight line, either have your buddy or some confidence, and uh, uh, make the adjustment here while the plane is in the air. You can see that the tracker is pointed at the plane from there, you're not guesstimating, and it's just done. Instead of having to land, adjust, take off, land, adjust, take off, until it's done. Uh, so that's one recommendation I'd have for Arcbird. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I will come back with another video on a long-range rig and see how far we can get this guy. Have a good one.